talking about lit review, many of you, if you're doing an MPH or you're studying or you're doing research or you're doing a PhD, or maybe you're a professional researcher, lit review is just part and parcel of your life. It's where the best evidence is. It's something we have to do again and again and again throughout your professional life in public health. Now, one of the things about lit review that's often difficult is how to start. Okay, and I have found this to be so difficult. So we're going to be talking about that today. But before we do, just quickly, uh, Kevin, you're most welcome. Quickly tell us about yourself. Who are you? What are you doing? What's the lowdown? What's the word on the street? Thanks, Greg. And uh, yeah, the lowdown on me, I am both a researcher and, on, and an entrepreneur. So uh, I've work, been working in medicine for about eight years. I started out helping doctors and companies write papers. That was basically my, my job right out of college. And from there, uh, we grew out a team of, I'd say, like best in class researchers focused on, on stroke therapies. Uh, I then turned around and developed a stroke device. Uh, so I've actually driven a stroke device from prototype uh, wow. through to commercialization. Um, and then, so I've sort of seen this from the research angle, from the commercialization angle. And now, and how you met me, I'm the CEO and founder of Nested Knowledge, a uh, technology company dedicated to the systematic review process. Yeah, and I absolutely love Nested Knowledge. And by the way, they sponsor this channel. And I'm gonna, in a few minutes' time, I'm gonna get Kevin to. Yeah, I, I, I nearly said Keith, and I said it's not Keith, it's Kevin. They're brothers, by the way, Kevin and Keith. You're gonna see him on the channel as well. You have, in fact, before. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna. I'm gonna ask Kevin to tell us a little bit about Nested Knowledge in a minute. But let's let's just start by getting into. People would have heard of Pico, right? And they would have heard of the. And a lot of us will have struggled with the, how do I start a literature review? The beginning part is like my, my question. Um, and I've always found that the most difficult part of a literature review. I also know that if you get the question right, everything after that is plain sailing. So uh, I don't know, Kevin, can you just give us a little bit of good advice? Literature review, question, Pico, when do I do a literature review? Just teach us, teach me, I need to know. Yeah, for, first let's scope this down. So we're talking PICO, which means we're talking about clinical reviews. So reviews where there was a group of patients, uh, mm -hmm. so P is usually population or patient population. Mm -hmm. There are interventions and comparators. So you treated the patients um, with say placebo and then a drug or placebo and then a device or two devices. Um, and then you track their outcomes and the outcomes are what you actually want to compare interventions and comparators based on. So uh, I'll even go into an example of this. Uh, uh, in a second, but as you say, I just want to repeat back at you a very important thing you said. If your research question is crafted correctly, you're going to have smooth sailing going forward. If you craft a research question that doesn't, number one, contain your PICOs, and number two, set you up with a concrete path forward, it's going to be uh, it's it's going to be a slog because usually what I find in those cases are people can't find any studies to put in their. 